can't. Ugh. Get out of here. Get out. Hello there, and welcome back to another episode on Aberration. And today, what are we doing? Well, we're going to be getting ourselves impregnated. Yay. Yeah. I want to get a Reaper. I've been wanting to probably since the beginning of, well, I mean, since the beginning in general of this series, but specifically since the beginning of Aberration, very much wanted to get myself a uh, Reaper. Because Reapers are one of the... I think I think uh, what would be called is the apex predator of aberration, because you have the rock drakes, but I think the reaper is probably the apex predator, like the gigas, the apex predator of the island, and the wyvern being scorches. Uh, I think this would be the apex predator of aberration. Uh, why am I going all the way down here? I have no idea. This is not where you go to grab a group of queens, kings. Yeah, you get the point. Anyway, that's not where I want to be going. I don't know why I'm going this way. I do need to go around where this uh, went for the first rock drake run, though. Oh, Lord, I cannot get up here. Yeah, I do need to head around there because uh, I've seen um, videos and all, and there are traps well you can set it up so that there are traps that basically will let you get multiple of the same reaper so if i can find let's say a 150 i can get myself multiple 150 reapers out of one singular because normally what will happen is you get or you kill one reaper and then it disappears into the, or you not kill but you get a reaper baby and then the reaper disappears into the ground and now that reaper is gone forever and if it was 150 boohoo now you're never getting back but there are ways to manipulate it so that way that can't happen because basically you stop it from being able to get underneath the ground uh, i think the ideal location to build it is like about there just out of the radiation uh so yeah i'd say let's head over here why was it taking down? Oh, there's probably like some spores or something. Yeah, we want to try to find a uh, radiation lacking area around here. And, yeah, okay. Around here. Is there any way over, or anywhere over here I can make it that's still radiation free? Uh, this seems, yep, yeah, this seems pretty radiation free over here. Let's kill this rock drake. Oh, bro. I, was, I thought that would kill it. Fine, I'll do it myself. Holy cow, there's so many seekers. Okay, I guess I'm taking on all these guys. No, get back here. Get back here. You ain't getting away from me. Alright, and then I'll stay on this spine as well just because it's a big nuisance in the area. I'd rather take care of it than leave it in the area, and there's nameless on me now. Yay. Alright, now we have everything killed. So, yeah, I'd say about here should be good. Uh, yep, I have. Actually, honestly, would not have surprised. Why do I only have. Bro, I made three. Why do I only have two of the three gates I made? Ugh, so I am gonna have to make something while I'm here. Fair enough. Alright. Oh, uh, is there any rocks? I'm not seeing any rocks around here. Hmm. Oh, that scared me. That really, really scared me. I just realized you guys need the gamma up. <laughs> I always forget to do that. It's not something I think of straight off the bat. My word, where are all the rocks? I need rocks to break. There we go, there's some. I need one more gate, and then we should be set there. Uh, and then I'll show off how to make the trap. I mean, it's a, I want to say, pretty well-known trap. It's nothing, you know, fresh and new that nobody's thought of before. It's, yeah, very, very well used around the art community. Uh, there's also other variations that work as well. There are Arthras there, and I cannot move. So I'm just going to crouch, so that way they do not see me. I think that did not entirely work, because I have music saying something is attacking. I have no idea what it is. It might be those. I'm not positive. All right. Now we have everything for the trap. Let's go. So let's head. Can I? Oh, my word. I've been having trouble with rock tricks lately, and it's very frustrating. So I was having, like, super fun time, no problems at all. And all of a sudden, just, like, rock tricks are not working with me. It's very frustrating. All right. It's about here. Uh, this nameless, not nameless, Seeker is going to come for me, I can already tell. Let's kill this puppy. 
And then those guys. Ah, boy. It's just, it's a never-ending battle. It's like, you have Seekers, and then you have, but if you want to deal with Seekers, you have to get rid of the Light. But if you get rid of the Light, then you have to deal with the Nameless. And it's just like, ah. You just can't win. It's so frustrating. Alright, let's try to get rid of all these things. I prefer not to have them around. While well, trying to, you know. Ooh, it's a 130. If it wasn't for the fact that I already tamed the Megalosaurus and already obviously defeated Rockwell at Gamma level. Still happy about that. But if it wasn't for all that, I would think about taming this puppy, but I uh, kind of don't need him anymore, so. Whatever. Oh boy, anger the Carno with my rock kick. That's not good, because the fleet's gonna happen. Or not. Cool. Oh, my word! And now there's Nameless. Ah! It's so <laughs> I'm actually, honestly, I'm really excited to, for once we leave Aberration, because then I don't have to deal with this freaking Nameless until Genesis. But even then, they're not that bad. They're annoying, but not nearly as bad as they are over here. Ugh. Yeah, it'll be nice. Alright, let's set this trap up now. And that's gonna be the fun part of trying to find ourselves a 150, because that's not an easy task. Not an easy task at all. Okay, so there's radiation here, but there's not radiation here. Okay. Alright, fair enough. So let's set this up. Uh, might have to push it out this way just a bit. Come oh, on! Leave me alone, you stinking seekers! That's something I'm not excited for Genesis, is the hordes of Seekers we're going to have to deal with. Because, yeah, I hate Seekers. Nameless and Seekers, uh, like, they were, like, great additions to Aberration and all, but, oh my gosh! Terrible, terrible creatures. Also, if you're wondering how these things are floating, that's, um, actually not a good thing. Oh, crap! That was a Karna, are you kidding me? Ugh, I was gonna snap. Yeah. Anyway, not a good thing actually, because that means I won't be able to get the, uh, the Reaper into it if everything is floating, so I actually have to grab all that and make it so everything is not floating. Okay, how are we gonna do this? Ah, uh, let's kill this Arthro real quick, because otherwise it's gonna get annoying. Thank you. Okay, where is a radiation-free zone that is basically flat. It looks like this works. Okay. Let's pop. Okay, not what I meant to do. Alright, now we can finally set up all this. It took forever, but at least it's happening. Okay, so now we get that, and now we get the gateways. So we put the gateways on each one of these sections. Pretty sure a reaper can't get. Uh, am I making the? I might be making the trap too big. Honestly, I can't remember. I think this is the size you're going for. Uh, four by four. I'm pretty sure is the size you want, but I'm not positive. Okay. Let's pop this here and the gate in there. And we set that to manual, I want to say. Alright, now we got the trap. So now we have to go hunt ourselves a reaper. Which seems like an easy task, and it probably is. Except for the fact that I have to hunt myself not just a reaper, but a high level reaper. So it's going to take me a hot minute. I just realized I do not have any canteens. Which brings me to another topic while I'm hunting for at least this one reaper before I cut back. Uh, I have a problem, or I found a problem. After I did Rockwell, I said, you know, oh, I'm gonna go back down uh, in a bit to go grab the, uh, you know, to go grab my creatures and all. Well, see, there was a problem there. I couldn't. There was, my creatures just poofed. They were, they were just non-existent anymore, and I don't know what happened, but yeah, they just stopped existing. It didn't say they died. They just stopped existing. So I'm hoping that doesn't happen every single time, because otherwise we're going to be losing Drake's, like, out the wazoo. I'd be, I'm fine with losing uh, Megalosaurs. And generally, Saddles as well, because at least... Oh, there's a Reaper here. Yeah, at least Saddles are, you know, recraftable and all, but 
was... Oh, I don't know. Right. Level 10. Oh my gosh, there's so much around me. This is not a pleasant situation. Alright. I do want to... Well, I, I actually need to be killing Reaper, some Reaper planes as well, because I need to be Reaper pheromones for both Beta and Alpha Rockwell. So either way, I actually should kill this. Uh, even if, though I don't actually you know, need a level 10 or anything, I actually should probably kill it just because I do need the Reaper pheromones. So, you know. Uh, okay. This will take a hot minute. The Reapers on the surface have like barely any health, but the Reapers, or the Reaper Queens, have a crap ton of health. So it takes a ton longer to uh, kill these things. Come oh, on, There's so many rock traits. And I think the Reaper heals as well. Dang it. Right, well, the good thing is, as I said before, it's only a little tank, so it's easily. Killable. Oh, Rock Drake's fine. Okay, whatever, it's coming back. Uh, okay, well, it didn't eat the Rock Drake that time, so that's always nice. And it is getting bloody. Yeah, we just need Reaper Pheromones because, well, first of all, for a Reaper, we're gonna need Reaper Pheromones. And then on top of that, we're also gonna need some, like, 11, I think, uh, Pheromones for uh, Rockwell total. Like, 4 for Beta. Seven for Alpha. It's something around that. We'll we'll see in the end. But uh, yeah, we do need to farm up some of these Reaper Pheromone plans to be able to do that, which isn't too bad. All right, pulling the shotgun back out. I'm getting annoyed. It's taking forever. All right. Oh, now you're getting looking bloody. I have to make sure I don't use too many shotgun shells though, because I have to make sure. I have a lot spare for once we find a high level to, uh, well, put it being impregnated by. So, yeah, I have to make sure I don't, you know, use all my shotgun shells on every other creature. That would be a terrible idea, seeing as the entire purpose of this video today is hunt ourselves a reaper. Okay, seriously, how much health do you have? You're taking forever. Come on. You can't have that much. Come on. You gotta die at some point today, right? Now, once this thing dies... Oh, Raptor Claws is here. Yay, as I said last episode, by the time this is getting uploaded, Raptor Claws is probably no longer a thing. But, uh, once this thing dies, I'm thinking we cut a... I'm just gonna be cutting ahead to once I, you know, get a... or find a high level, because... It's gonna be a while, I feel. And, uh, I do need to be farming up Reaper Pheromone Glands, specifically... Uh, for the Reaper today, but in general, I do need to get some. So, oh my word, how much health do you have? Finally, holy cow! That thing took forever. All right, I don't care if I'm getting acid burn. Reaper pheromone glands. That should. I might want to grab one more Reaper, but that should, in theory, hold us over. Until uh, we, I, it doesn't fire Reaper Pheromone Glands nearby. But yeah, as I said, I'm just gonna be hunting Reapers down. It's gonna take a hot minute to find something good. So, and I, I can't really glide around because I have to figure out my way back to get to the trap. So, but yeah, I'll be back once I find a high level Reaper. All right, so I've been searching for quite some time, and the best I can find, which kind of stinks. It is a 135, so I'm probably going to use that. I'm, I'll am i keep looking in my own time, but seeing as I'm trying to finish off the recording here, I think it'd probably be best to figure out how to get back to the spine, probably. But no, nah, um, I think it'd probably be best just to get some reaper, and you never know. 135s I've found tend to be really good for some reason. I tend to get very lucky with 135s. Why did you have to hit the Megalosaurus? Why would you be that much of an idiot? Nah, this is a bad way to go. But yeah, I don't know. I have not found terribly amazing Reapers. 
so yeah, uh, this is the best, as I said, this is the best I've found so far. Just nothing too amazing today. Like, yeah, just no 150. Oh, where did it go? Where did the Reaper go? Did he just poof out of existence? Or what happened? Well, now I'm getting the Reaper feathers back up, so it's around here. What happened? Why did it stop following me? Did he die? Thank you. Why did you stop following me? Seems like a personal problem. Come on. Come on, this way. This way. We have to lead you all the way back to the trap, which is quite a ways away. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Okay. Yep, come around this way. Bro, are you kidding me? You're stuck. Come on. This way. Thank you. No, don't put me into the element. Unlike you, well, I don't even know if you can survive. Molten element. Alright, come on. Right around this way. Come on. This way. No, 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 no. Oh, shucks, I got two of them on me. Shoot, that's not good. I don't want two, I only want one. Okay, which one's currently on me? Hope. Hopefully it's the 135. Uh, you are the 135. Okay. Uh, shoot. Did I go the wrong? I did go the wrong way. We have to go this way. Come on, queen. This way. Oh yeah, this is way farther than I. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's way, way farther than I first thought it was. Come on. Keep it coming. Great. Now I've got a rock drape on me. Just what I wanted. Come on. Come on. We're getting close here. I just need you to stay with me. And I've got another rock trick on me now. Oh, wow. You're actually very pretty. Well, I would not actually, I don't know if I call it pretty. Very fancy with that. It's a very fancy rock trick. Alright. We're almost there. We just have to go up just a bit more. Are you... Okay, you are still with me. Good. Uh, just hit night. Cool. 50-50 night. Too bad. Not going drop hunting tonight. We are getting ourselves a Reaper. I also did kill another Reaper and got a... Another 5? I think, Pheromone Glands? So... That definitely should hold us over. A bro... Did it... Oh, I'm already left me then. Ah. Uh, and now we have a bunch of stinking rock drakes on us. And some more... Freaking nameless, get off me! Stupid nameless. Okay, well, the Reaper in theory should still be down there. And honestly, it might be better that it lost aggro because now it gives me time to kill these rock tricks in peace. I don't have to worry about getting killed by the Reaper while I'm trying to kill the rock tricks. So that's nice. Uh, but I'll probably just kind of head to once we get the Reaper back on us. Oh, is this her? No, that's a 55. What the crap? What happened to the other one? What happened to the 135? <gasps> oh! Yes! 145 and really right next to the trap, too. The trap is like just up here. Let's go. 145. Ah, oh, I've been here so long. This has been a very, very long recording. There's just been no good levels today. Well, up until now, obviously. But, oh my word, just... Yeah, it has taken forever to find a good level. Okay, come on. Inside. Thank you. Come on. Okay. So now the goal is, I need you to stay aggroed on. Okay, you're not still aggroed onto the Drake. So that's not super. You know, ow, pleasant. 
Come on. Come on, close the gate. Okay, great time to close the door. Is he in? Or is she in? Ow! Yes, she is. Alright. Oh, that took forever. Yeah, let's deal with this stupid seeker. And now we get to start the process. Yay. Alright, this is gonna be fun. We get to basically... No! Stinking stupid seekers. I hate them so much. I have had to deal with so many seekers today, and I'm very annoyed with them now. Oh, I need her in charge. So I just gotta keep doing this. Uh, I don't remember exactly how low I have to get her, but I have to get her pretty low. So, I'm gonna have to do this for a hot minute until, you know, she's got lower health. I don't know how low, but I have to get her you know, lower. So, I'm gonna be here a while, I think. No! Oh my gosh! What have I done? <laughs> what have I done? I killed a 145. Oh my gosh, how am I that much of an idiot? Oh my gosh, how am I that much of an idiot? Watch the health. Always watch the health. <laughs> Alright. Gotta keep finding another one now. <sighs> Yay. taking so long to get a 150. I am so tired. Oh my lord. It is so late right now. I have been trying to find a high level reaper for so long and then I found a high level reaper and then what did I do? I was an idiot and killed it. So yeah. I just I've been here for quite some time trying to get myself a high level reaper with basically nothing to show for it so far so, yeah i mean i've gotten some reaper glands but most of them i just i, I only kill the low levels for obvious reasons not exactly easy to kill the high ones all right how much okay she's doing fine let's get in there no 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 okay good time Oh god, an earth throw, I heard him. Okay. How much health you got? Because I want to make sure I'm not killing you. I killed the previous one, and I'm not killing you. Alright, you have 52,000 health. That's gonna be taking a while to kill. So let's start the process all over again.
Alright, she's pretty low health here, I think. We might be able to pull it off about now. Hope is that she actually decides to use the thing relatively soon. Come on. Oh, that's really bad. Ow. Ow, that's really bad. Okay. Hum. Uh, best option here, probably gonna be making wood shields or something. Cause I can't exactly just, you know. Are you kidding me? Ah, yeah, I can't exactly just like, you know, go back and uh, get or uh, fix up my shield. Cause that's, then she's gonna regen and get full health. So I have to work with what I have here. So what I have is a crap ton of resources around me that I'm gonna have to use. And if I could actually harvest some fiber. Is there any fiber plants around here? Are you kidding me? There's no fiber? Game! Give me fiber! I really need fiber right now. Ah. Just why? Why is this just... Ah. Ah. Okay, let's, let's see if we can find some fiber in quick, because we really need it. Come on, fiber! Are you kidding me? There's like no fiber plants anywhere! Ah! There's no fiber plants. I don't need that. I already have a sickle. I need fiber. If the game's like taunting me, it's like, oh yeah, you can get your sickle. But yeah, don't get any fiber from it. <laughs> Just like, please. Oh gosh, that's bad. Yeah, really? Are you sure about that? I, I'm not positive if I'll actually even work or not. Oh my gosh. That's just terrible. Alright. Wooden shields. What do I need? Hide. Hide? Are you kidding me? Just shield. Yeah. Alright, whatever. I don't know how many hits this thing can... Or a wood shield can tank from a Reaper Queen. Where the crap is it? Shh, do I have to let it out? Oh, not this crap again. No, I do. F oh, goodness. Come on. Alright, come on. Come back in. Come on. Come back in. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, it's not what I said. No, 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 no. Bad. Gosh, nab it. Why is he. Why are you being so difficult? You just work with me. Get inside the f uh, stinking trap. It's all I need. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Oh my <laughs> No! Whoa! Get out of here! Get out! Oh 
Oh, you stinking thing. Still here? My gosh, I hope she's still here. Oh no, she's here. Yeah, she's here. Okay, good. All right, I have been working my butt off as fast as I can, so I got a ton of shell, uh, shotgun shells, and uh, fixed up my shields and all. And so yeah, hopefully we can actually do this with a bit more. Uh, calm this time. Where is she? There she is. Alright. And yes, I do have my dog in the room again. I know. Not the smartest idea. How, why can't she hit me? This is very strange. Okay. So now, we gotta start the process of killing her again. Yay! Alright, let's start this whole thing again. Alright, first of all, let's check what health she's currently at. She's 7k. Alright, so let's do three shells. Actually, no, let's do four shells. Let's see. She's at... It's 4k. Alright. Let's pump a few more shells. Get a, one of those. Alright, what are you now? Alright, we well, do have that now. Let's do... Okay. 1.4k. Let's get... Do one more shotgun shell. Okay, we're still good. Uh, okay, we cannot hit anything now. Okay. So now this process begins where we have to weigh her out. And hopefully, now. Hopefully, relatively soon, she decides. Relatively soon. Relatively soon. Relatively soon. Relatively soon. Relatively rel Relatively soon. Let's go! <gasps> no! Are you kidding me? No, come on. You're giving me this baby. I don't care how much you resist. You are giving me this baby. Come on. Bring it, lady. Bring it. There we go. She's attacking again. Come on. There we go. There we go. Come on. Oh, please don't glitch me into the map. Please. Oh, we did it! Let's go! Okay, we need to get back to base, like, now. Get the levels into this offspring. And then we're gonna birth this thing. And I'm gonna go to bed, and then we'll start raising it tomorrow. Oh, my word! Oh! Oh, I'm so... Now, I'm, now it's, like, stress, because I have to try and get back to base as fast as I can. Oh, my word. Okay. Okay, awesome. We have the baby. Now we just have to get back to base. And kill a few megalosaurs. And then we should, in theory, be fine. Alright, let's keep moving here. Ugh. Nope, this is not time to have lag. Alright, well we should, in theory, be fine. I think. Nope, game. Oh my game. Game! Ugh, I have had too much pain tonight. First, the 140. Or first, I killed the 145. Then, I was trying to get the 150. Oh, more. Can you climb? Ugh, if you can't tell, I'm very annoyed with the game right now. <laughs> yeah, first, it was. I killed the 145. Then, it was. The 150 was giving me. Well, for, no, first of all, I couldn't find one for, like, forever. Then, I finally found a 145. Then, I kill it. And then I uh, have to hunt for another forever. And I find the 150, and then that thing takes forever to finally uh, knock down and 
get the baby and oh my goodness. That's just been a very painful night. <laughs> a very, very painful night. Alright, get Stam fast, please. I have 12 and a half minutes. And it seems like a lot, but it really isn't. Alright. Oh boy. Come, let me stink in trees. It's amazing how much more annoying every- or how much- Everything annoying, I should say, not how much more annoying things are. Now, how much every annoying thing happens when you're annoyed. Because none of this happens normally when I'm not annoyed. Like, I could get through all of this, no problem, no annoyances. But when I am annoyed, like I am right now, is- Where am I going? Oh my word, I can't figure out where I'm supposed to be going. I was going- Oh, <laughs> oh. I just, I, yeah, I, as I said, once I hatch this, or when the hatch, but once I birth this thing, I'm going to bed. That's what I need right now, I need sleep. I have not given myself enough sleep to do this arc video. Oh my word, fly, not fly, but glide, you get the point. Ugh, just get stamina, please. I have 11 minutes, I've taken 4 minutes just trying to get back to base, I'm not even there yet. <sighs> chill pill, man. Chill pill. We're talking to a monitor to people that are going to be watching the video. Chill. <sighs> okay. Let's get back to base. We're so close here. Can you... Why can't you climb? Like, literally, this, or, this um, parakeet just seems, like, incapable of gliding today. We're not cli gliding, climbing today. I don't understand why. Uh, we take this sh uh, shield off now. We don't need it. Alright, so now we go kill ourselves a few megalosaurs. This should get us enough XP pretty fast to, in theory, uh, kill this. Or not kill. Uh, get this thing raised to uh, max level. Oh! Okay. I only had to kill one. Fair enough. Alright, cool. So now it's just the waiting game down at the bottom. Uh, actually I was about to drop out all these eggs, but nah, probably isn't the best idea. Alright. Uh, now it is the waiting game. I have to wait for 10 minutes for the uh, creature to come out. I have to wait down here because I made a box dedicated to raising this reaper. Ugh, so yeah, I'll be back once it's coming out, and then, as I said, I'm going to bed. But, uh, for now, my life is going to be sitting in here. So, yeah, fun. Uh, oh, you can see my little belly. <laughs> my little birth and belly. Anyway, I'll be back in, or ten minutes, I guess, or nine minutes now, so I'll be back. Alright, a few seconds here, let's eat this thing. All right, here we go. Ugh. Ugh. It's very creepy. All right, let's claim this puppy. Ah. And it's ours. Our hard work finally has paid off. Oh boy. Woo, it's actually, you know, it's actually decent stats. I don't know. I've never like really um looked into reapers much i don't really use reapers too terribly much so i don't know if that's actually that amazing but it looks like it's good it looks like it's pretty good actually but uh we have how long nine minutes until the first imprint um i almost just want to wait until it's uh to the juvenile stage just that way it will actually listen to me so I think I will do that. Possibly just raise it up. I don't know. I also don't want to do that because then I want to use it. But I'm also tired and I don't want to use it when I'm tired. So I'm just going to wait till it's juvenile. Uh, probably get one imprinted. Wait for it to be juvenile. And then I'm going to get off for tonight. But obviously that's not the end of the video. It's just the end for me today. But uh, yeah. Alright. Let's skip ahead. Woo! I think it's a 10%. It pops to the next form.
Oh, maybe I'm... Oh, nope, nope, there we go. Yep, there we go. I was correct. It was at, uh, 10% around about. Uh, does look like he is stuck, though. So, I do not have a cryopod on me. Hmm. Uh, I guess I can just pick this up. And this and this and get him fully in here. There we go. Okay. And then I'm just going to pop all this back down. Alright, so I don't have the imprint in just yet. As you can probably tell, seeing as... Oh, okay. He's uh, still running around. Okay, uh, switch to manual. Let's close that up. Holy cow, that's a terrifying sight. But he does listen to me now, which is always nice. Is he on... No, he's... Oh, he is on Wander. Interesting. So these are the one babies that will actually be on Wander still. The more you know. That is definitely something I did not know, so... Definitely interesting. Alright, let's pop that in, and I need to switch the opacity the other side. Alright, cool. Uh, I don't really care to change the glass directly right now, but, uh, actually, well, I guess I could. I mean, it's not that hard. I just have to, uh, model, set, save that, and boom, now it's set. Alright, three minutes till the imprint. I'll be back in a bit. Alright, he wants to have a cuddle. Alright, 25%, and we have 20% matured so far, so pretty good. Okay, that upped that health like a ton. That went up by like 3k for 25%. That's pretty nice. Alright, so around about the end, it's probably going to be near 3, 000, or 30,000. Uh, possibly 30,000 exactly. Or around like exactly 30,000 uh, as a f uh, final. So that's actually kind of crazy it's, and really cool. Alright, let's just pop all the meat in him now, seeing as we can. And, uh, yeah, I am off for tonight, but, as I said, not the end of the video, so, um, yeah, bye, for now. Alright, so, I am back and ready to check out our new Reaper, because, whew, it is, it was nice, though, getting sleep before checking out the guy. So, I'm actually well-rested, and I can finish off this video, and I just realized I have no way to get this guy out, other than picking up these glass walls. Hopefully, he can fit through, though. Okay, yes, he can. Oh man, it's been a while since I've tried out a Reaper, but I got the max imprint on him, uh, as I said, and pretty close to uh, 30k health here, so pretty nice. It seems to be kind of low damage. I'm not sure how much they get for level. I'll have to check that. Either that or this... He could have been shelled, which is possible. Because if that was him being in his shell, then that was not the max damage. So, we actually do have more damage capability, which in, if that's the case, then this Reaper might actually be pretty good. Okay, yeah, no, we, we do do more damage. Okay. This is actually a pretty decent Reaper, so I don't remember all the, uh, I, yeah, it's been a wa long time since I used a Reaper, so this can kind of be like a episode to get the Reaper and then kind of test around with it. It's like the Karkinos video. It's like, I... Been a, that was a 145 Karkinus, I really should not have killed that. Yeah, it's just been a while since I've used a Reaper, so I'm not too used to it. But uh, one thing you always have to keep in mind is you do not want to have a charge pet while you're riding this. Or you can, but you don't want to have it lit, because then it's damage reduction for having the uh, light, or the, having the uh, charge uh, not nearby. What am I trying to say? Having charge nearby will take off its damage reduction, which isn't exactly what you want. Alright, so that will slow him. And then we can whack him. Okay, so the whack just does knockback, not nearly as much damage. But it does a lot of knockback. Yeah, as you can see there, a ton of knockback, and it's an AoE attack. So if you're surrounded, you can go like a whoosh and knock everything back. So that we can start killing again. So I can see this guy coming in quite handy for OSDs. Probably not past yellow, but I could see him coming in handy for yellow drops and yellow and blue drops. I think he'll come in handy. But I mean, we'll soon outlive the uh, those drops. Like after 
not too much time because eh, they're not exactly yellow and blue aren't exactly the best drops on extinction so i doubt we're going to be doing those very much but uh you never know i can also see this guy being okay for taming just because you can like if you're going to tame something that's trying to run away you can like whip one of these out real quick and then start tranquilizing it, and then it won't be able to get to you nearly as fast. I can see that working quite well. I uh, don't think I have really anything I need to tame tranquilizing-wise. I mean, I do have a basilisk that I do want to tame. Uh, I've yet to find a high level, and I still need rock drake eggs, but I have some really good basilisk saddles that I want to be using, so I want to keep my eye out for any... Uh, let's get that to like two... yeah, that's good enough. And then I want to get it to 35,000 health for now. Probably up it more later. Maybe like 45 to 50,000 health. But I also want to pump a bit into damage. But yeah, I mean, Reapers are pretty nice. They're kind of slow. But uh, they're very powerful. I mean, it's basically like the T-Rex or something of aberration. Plus it's, you know, radiation proof, which is always nice. But, uh, yeah, pretty handy, and obviously we have the Swirl, which will knock creatures back. Have a big jump, uh, which you can actually stop midair. Then you also have the, uh, little ball things that slow stuff down, regular bite. Past that, I think that's everything? Yeah, except for the fact that when you're off of it, you can actually bury a Reaper. So you can actually have a buried reaper just around, which will help a lot for space, and I can just unbury it if I want to be using the reaper. So it's pretty nice, actually, having a reaper, because they're pretty powerful. They're very compact in, like, when you're building a base, because you can just hide one in the floor. And then, on top of all of that, it has its AoE to knock creatures back, so amazing for OSDs and all. And it's got its uh, slow spray spread thing whatever it is i don't even know but uh yeah i'm pretty excited to use this i don't know if i'm gonna bring it into the um rockwell boss fight just because i mean they're handy but i don't know if it's gonna be nearly as powerful as my megalosaurus speaking of which i have had to restart my megalosaur army like obviously I still have all the mutations from before i didn't destroy my mutations uh, can i get over please but, I say, I didn't destroy my mutations, uh, but I had to restart my mutation army. So I've got everyone raised up, I just need to level everybody. But, this time around, I decided to craft ourselves the Ascendant Saddles, which drained my resources, but most of them uh, reach above 200, which is amazing. Some of them are a little below, uh, yeah, as you can see, they're 176, but... A lot of these are over 200 armor, so that'll, that's like nearly over double, actually no, for most of the saddles I have for Gamma, that's over double the uh, armor, so that's pretty nice. But yeah, uh, just a basic, well I say basic, it's not exactly the easiest process, but uh, video on getting yourself, or finding a reaper, taming a reaper, using a reaper. Because I just wanted one. I think it will come in very handy for future maps, such as Extinction and Genesis. Genesis Part 2 might also be handy for, I'm not positive. Uh, obviously, at the time of recording, they have not released anything else for, or stating anything for Genesis Part 2. And I doubt they will have. And in theory, this video should, it really should, be out before March. Uh, or at least before Genesis Part 2 comes out. But anyway, so yeah, just a basic Reaper video. Uh, I was going to try to tame a Basilisk today, but that's not happening. This took forever. Even if it, the video is shorter, I'd, I'd honestly have no idea. But even if it is, there's no chance I am taming a Basilisk today. I need to prepare more for that. But uh, anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Uh, I'm not sure. We either will tame a Basilisk next episode, or we're going to be doing Beta Rockwell. Not positive, but I that's basically all that's left is just Rockwell and a few 
other things, taming a basilisk and some alpha drops, and that's about it. So, not a lot left in the series, or at least aberration section, so, yeah. Anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.